Welcome to Midwest Outdoors. I'm Jim Quinn and we're fishing with Why Not Charters, Zach and Jason, Door County, Wisconsin, actually in Sand Bay. We're fishing whitefish today. How deep are we, Zach? 73 foot. Mm -hmm. we're, we're snapping the baits up off the bottom and they, they follow it down. When it hits the bottom is when they grab it. Nice white fish. There's a little better of one. Is that about 20 inch or so? Yeah, I would say about that. I would say this is right around that two pound mark. Typical white fish? Very good table fare. I love to bake them and deep fry them. And I don't think you'll find a better fish smoked. How are we doing, Jim? I'm working on it, Jason. I'm working on it. These fish have very soft mouths on them. Yeah. So it ends up happening when you get them up, as soon as they can get any kind of release of tension on that hook, like it hit the top of the hole there, right. they like to fall off real easy. So with an eight inch hole, these white fish, their bodies aren't able to spin back down the hole right away. So you're able to get your hand underneath them and lift them out. A couple of the different jigging techniques we're doing here is we're doing this little snap of a jig off the bottom. We just let it hit the bottom, snap it up and just let it hit the bottom and snap it up again. The other thing we like to do a lot, depending on what structure you're fishing, if I'm in the rocks, I just do little twitching on the bait, give it a little pause, and just, we're just keeping the waxy moving is all we do. Fish on, out of 70 feet of water off of a mud bottom. This one took his upper, we call it a slider hook. It's just got a waxy on it, and it free slides on the line. What we're using on these white fish, it's a medium light, so you get good backbone, but it's got a nice sensitive tip to it. And then today we got them rigged up with some eight pound braid. In this deep water, we're ripping it up off the bottom. It gives us no stretch, so we're able to feel the bites a lot better. But a nice good backbone rod, you know, with a nice sensitive tip for them, nice good head shakes that they do is the key, you know, with these white fish. Another fish on. Not a lot of current today, so we're able to get away with the number three jigging Rapala. Some of the days when the current's a little stronger, we use the number fives. One of the interesting facts on a whitefish is they're actually in the salmonoid family. And most people, you know, call them a rough fish, but they're actually in the salmon family, so they're, they're very good eating. What we got here is the two different style baits that we're using today. First one is an Echo Tail from Vibrations Tackle. This one's a 3 8 ounce. We're also using the quarter ounces. And then the other one we're using is the number three jigging Rapalas. We also use the number fives a lot. It all depends on what the current is. Both baits have been very hot for us. Yes, Sean. Zach, why a sleeper cabin? Well, with the sleeper houses, you get to fish all day. You know, if you want to party or anything, you can, you know, fish right till dark. You don't have to drive anywhere. You crash at night, get up in the morning. All you got to do is pop the holes open and you're fishing again. With the two-day option like that, you know, you don't have to worry about getting a hotel or anything. Another one on the Echo Tail. Another beauty. Definitely getting to be a bucket full here. Feels like a pretty good whitefish. These whitefish are a pretty powerful fish. I mean, they do give you a real hard fight. Wow, <laughs> putting up a nice tussle. How far down you? About 10 feet. Look at that big one. There you go. We'll get the hook out of the way. That's beauty, guys. That is a big whitefish. I got her, Jim. Got her? About two and a quarter pounds. It's a good white fish. White fish's meat is not real dense. Here, I'll get it right in Okay, here. all right. Their meat's not real dense on them, so they, you know, they look a lot bigger than what they, you know, end up weighing for poundage, so. But a two and a quarter pounder is definitely a good one. I hooked into another one here. Been on a pretty good uh, afternoon bite here. The mornings have definitely been better fishing, but no complaints about this afternoon. With a limit being 10 per person, you can definitely put some meals in your freezer. In all of Wisconsin, you're allowed a double limit for two days, so if you do a sleeper shack, you can get 20 per person over two days' time. Another nice quality fish on the, the Echo Tail. Nice one, Zach. Beautiful fish. 
into the bucket with the rest. Well, we finished our day up here. We got a nice pile of whitefish for an afternoon. We're offering whitefish trips for just daytime or a whitefish walleye combo trips. And then if you want to choose one of our sleeper shacks, we offer the overnight. We have the whitefish walleye combos as well with the sleepers. And we also have just the daytime fishing for the whitefish in the sleepers as well. For Zach and Jason with Why Not Guide Service, I'm Jim Quinn. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.